Jacob. I'm Yurt. And we're going for a drive. The fully refreshed 2024 Acura TLX. Type S without launch control. Brake boost. Hell yeah, brother. Horsepower and torque. 355 horsepower, 354 pound-feet of torque from a three-liter turbo V6. Okay, let me put it in S for subscribe and oh. floor it, and floor it. That downshift's quick. Dude, the I automatic? straight up love how this thing drives. I'm gonna talk about some driving because I actually really enjoy did this. They, did they refresh any driving? Yes, throttle response in Sport Plus. But just listen to this. A little pfft. It's just so satisfying the way that this shifts when you leave it in automatic, surprisingly, which a lot of cars don't. So when I'm putting along, this has been very enjoyable to drive. The next thing about this that's been enjoyable to drive is the suspension. It is adaptive and I'm going to send it through cliche corner with the super handling all wheel drive and it wants to step the back end out. This thing absolutely this rips flying. and it's so comfortable as well. Like, dude, this, I love driving this a lot. This is like the perfect normal driving car, not trying to do anything silly. Yeah, but you can also do a little bit barely, of silliness, barely. but it's not rear wheel drive, obviously. And it's super traction is off as drive. You could. So the way that it does everything is just, it makes a lot of sense. It's just, you can't be an idiot because it's not rear wheel drive, but you can do a lot of little fun things like corner exits with full throttle. Keeping an auto. Yes. Because this is an automatic driving car. Not really good for the manual paddle shift. No, because it will automatically upshift if you have the traction off, if you have it in sport, if you have it in manual, it'll still always automatically upshift. So if I floor it right now in sec second, there. But it does sound good when it does it. I just wish it wouldn't automatically upshift. You're pushing the kick down pedal? I'm all the way down. Okay, so what if you're not all the way down? Okay, let's try slightly. Didn't we do down. that in like a car recently? Yeah, yeah, let's try that. doesn't yeah. make a difference, yeah. which they did not update, unfortunately, but they did update some things with the looks, specifically with the front bumper, specifically with the grill. Yeah, so now in the lower trim, the grill is a different, different, but this one, we don't have like that plexiglass that goes all the way to the side and the surround around it doesn't go on to like the top bumper hood part. Yeah, I really like that you don't need that plexiglass because they built the sensors into the Acura logo and it just looks way better now. Yeah, and besides that, did, did they change much more? Because it kind of looks, I mean, the color, we have cement gray. Which, <laughs> yes, all new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it looks cool, but give me that like yellow one or the red one. Yeah, and then uh, they did update the wheels. However, for some reason, I'm not sure why we don't have the new wheels, but I really like these wheels more than the new ones. So I'm not upset by that at all. You know what I really like? What? The tires that we're on. Oh yes, the Continental Conti Winter Contact TS830P. What a great tire for an all-wheel drive, can handle winter car. Yeah, and the summer tire would be the Extreme Contact Sport 02, and this thing would rip on a set of those through Cliche Corner. Did they change the rear end or anything? Not that I can really see. It what? looks the same to me. Well, how about what you can hear? Ooh, let's take a listen to the outside. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Let's take a listen to the inside where it is definitely pumped in. Sounds great, and the valves also open up in Sport Plus. Can we turn that volume down, or is it is what it is? Uh, if you put it in comfort, it does chill out. Yeah. I have noticed that. And apparently, they did update several things to make the cabin quieter, uh, like a lot of things. I will just literally list them off right now. <clears throat> New front fender liners, wheel insulators, B-pillar and door insulators, acoustic glass in the front windows, active noise cancellation was turned up a notch, and thicker carpeting as well. So, you know what would quiet this down even more? Let me guess, a set of tux mat? Set of tux mat, Yuri. Go to tuxmat.com slash the straight pipes to see what they have for your car. That is not a proven statement. I'm just saying because thicker carpeting <laughs> is what apparently quieted this down. So, the thing is, it is kind of quiet in here, but it's not like crazy quiet. So, I don't remember how loud the old one must have been because that seems like a lot of improvements for what ends up being not the biggest improvement in here. And I don't think we took the old one through Cliche Corner. Finally taking this through Cliche Corner, it feels like it was built for Cliche Corner, handcrafted 
on Cliche Corner. Yeah, and I love being able to see through my digital gauge cluster, which is all new, uh, you can see what the wheels are doing if you put it into that little gauge display mode on the right. And then there's also a, there's two different gauge modes. There's like the traditional one, which I actually enjoy, and I turned it straight back to that. And there's the new futuristic one, which I don't actually love. So even though we have the digital cl gauge cluster, I'm using the old style. Well, why would you need to like stare at your tack when you're flying if you're yeah. automatically on shift? Oh, dude, like it wants to actually send the back end out. It's, this is so great to drive for a rear wheel biased front wheel drive transverse system. Is this rear wheel biased? <laughs> yes, it can send up to 70% of the torque to the rear and then 100% of that torque to, to either it. wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's, you know what? Shout, shout, the, shout, the shout team, yes, killing it every single day. And then we also do have a individual mode if you press the Acura button in the middle of your dynamic mode, so then you can kind of chill things out, chill out the suspension, which I did, even though the suspension is not harsh by any matter. Uh, just getting it into comfort really settles this thing down while also being able to change your steering and all that kind of stuff. So it is really nice. And although they did update a lot of little things here and there, they did not touch the powertrain, they did not touch the engine, and I'm not upset by that. A little bit of horsepower would have been nice, but it doesn't need it. Like, this feels great. Yeah, it's very they, punchy. They already built, like, a good system and tuned it nicely. Yeah, like, it's, it's a really good engine, and the fact that the MDX also gets this, like, this thing does rip. And I just love that low-end torque. You would really feel it, and that sound. Like, this is a really good V6 sound. Some V6s From the inside, anyways. Yes, some V6s don't sound that great. Uh, let's just say the Nissan GTR wasn't my favorite, but the stock exhaust uh, with an aftermarket one, they sound pretty good. Dude, sad. that Bayside Blue one we had, I love that. Yeah, some of them sound pretty good. We're talking an R35, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, that was, ah, uh, oh, man. But this one is really good. Uh, like the NSX, I feel like that needs an exhaust so badly. This one is pretty good, at least inside. Yeah, Acura's a weird company when it comes to all that stuff, right? Yeah, let's get you into this weird company car to talk about this infotainment. I'm, not, I'm not talking about it. You talk about it. I don't need anyone. No, you it. talk about I'm it. I don't want people getting mad You're at the me. infotainment guy. It's your birthday. We've got... <laughs> what is that? Why do I have to take the blame then? Fine, all right. <laughs> After you eat this birthday present donut, I'll talk about the infotainment. Wow, that was delicious. <laughs> Use the paddles, Yuri. Shift before red line. Missed it. Missed it. Got it. Uh -huh. Third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that part you guys screwed up, but yeah. whatever. They don't care. Yeah. The people who buy this don't care. They're they're just like happy that it's like, oh it's the type ass. And they should be, because other than that, this is great. Okay, uh, another cool thing that this has, because I'm still not going to talk about the infotainment, <laughs> is they finally got more than just red interior lighting on this one. Yes, ambient lighting has been improved. Because when it got launched, the Type S, they were bragging about all these lights and stuff, and then like the top trim only got the red, and I feel like they saw my complaint in the video, and they fixed it, and I appreciate y'all listening to me. And there are a lot of really cool names for the ambient it's lighting. It's like racetracks or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, something like that. They, they look cool. And how do you get to the ambient lighting? Do you have to navigate there using the infotainment? Absolutely. Tell me, tell me about it. <laughs> so they updated the infotainment by making the screen larger. That's it. Uh, we have the classic Acura infotainment, which is the uh, whatever they call it, precision touch, cr crafted touch, where you have to have your hand in the exact position, or sorry, your finger, and it kind of shows you where that is on the screen, right, Yuri? And then it also has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. And how does that work in there? Yes. I'm sure it has been referred to as intuitive. <laughs> uh, and then we also have wireless if you want to, but it's nice to have the option, so thank you for that. Hey, this has a 360 camera, and the button is right here. Yes, it does. Can you touch that screen, Yuri? I couldn't reach it, so I would not want to touch it anyways. So it is not a touch screen. Uh, Yuri, how do you change the radio station? I connect my Apple CarPlay, and I tell Siri to play whatever I want on Spotify. How would you change the FM station in this if you wanted to use the FM radio? I haven't tried. Jacob, can you please explain to the audience how you do it? <laughs> Nope. No. And I didn't have my eyes on the road for a single second of that. 
Look, look, look this okay. Acura system sucks. They're phasing out this, I think, because all their new stuff's gonna be GM or Civic, I hope. Civic. So there's, so there's no reason for us to linger on it. I do agree, because it's not a great system and the rest of the car makes up for it. Especially as you handle through Cliche Corner and rip it through here. Shout, shout, shout. Like, that is fun. This is, I think, more like an Audi all-wheel drive system of Quattro in an RS than anything else, right? until Until you said RS, I was going to disagree because this does tend to rotate more than like an S type, but an RS kind of rotates a little bit. I, I just feel like, I don't know, like don't we only drive RSs? <laughs> uh, we've driven some S's. I feel like the RSs I feel great going through Cliché and this I feel great going through Cliché and it's a similar style of uh, all wheel drive. Yeah, at least mentally it feels The way it like, feels. Yeah. Probably mechanically completely different I'm sure. Yes. But hey, a lot of hard button for climate, that's nice. The push button shifter stuff, a little weird, got used to it. Heated and ventilated seats with an auto function and a heated steering wheel. Auto start from the key fob. The key fob has a red line and says Type S. We got a volume knob and tuning left and right. Wireless charging tray, cup holders that look like they'll fit a small cup. Visors that probably slide. Oh, Three, yeah. two, one. Full pass. A lot of good in here. Yeah. Except the back seats. Very tight for myself at six foot one and a half, and sort of tight even for Yuri. At five foot eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got a bunch of trunk room, so that's good. The button to pop the trunk is in the light. That's neat. Yeah, so that is nice. A little sunroof, not a moonroof. Can't complain. I love little sunroofs too. Yeah, there's a lot of good about this, and we haven't even got to the price yet. Well, let's go through Cliche Corner. Can you give me the price yeah. while I'm through Cliche Corner? Or? Oh man, too much thinking. <laughs> like, well, I can't, Yuri. Like, see, like I'm, I'm, I'm usually not, not going this fast. No, you're cliche. not. <laughs> I mean, it's also the tires. These Continentals are just ripping through here. <laughs> shout, shout, bro, all day. Dude, this is sick. Right, like, I don't like that I'm faster in these cars. Yeah. <laughs> but I just am. The last time we compared this to a G70, I picked this over that, and I'm glad that I did. The G70 had more slidey slide, though. But I'm still glad driving this through cliche, I would still pick this one. Yes. Let's if get to the if price. If you like, lived on Tail of the Dragon or something. Oh, thing. man, yeah. Not that I've ever been. Let's get to the price. Let's get to the price. I already said that, even though that's your line. $64,250 with this $500 optional gray paint. $64,250 with this $500 optional gray paint. Good job. That's my <laughs> line. Canadian. Yeah. Horsepower and torque. You, know, you make up your own catchphrase. Sorry that I made up a couple catchphrases. I'm Yuri. <laughs> and I'm Jacob. <laughs> and we're going for a drive. That's so, not my line. My line is... I'm Jacob. Uh, Come got, on, we got, we got our catchphrases wrong. My bad. You got yours for me wrong. So where would you rank this on your list of uh, sedans? Honestly, I don't know, but I really like it. Do you like it more than an M340i? I'm not sure. Is it cooler than an M340i? Yes, it is cooler. Is it cooler than the M340i we drove in Portugal? No. no. Because that's the old one with the old infotainment that we got to drift like crazy. Yeah, yeah, and the new one is like, ah. Yeah, this is a great car and a very good value in comparison to the M340i. I'd get it in the yellow. Do they still make that? Tiger Eye Pearl or whatever? I'm going I, to I would hope so. assume yes. I don't know, man. Looks like they do my jolly good chaps. Cheerio and throw another shrimp on the barbie. Thanks, Charles. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up. Like this video. Send it to your friends. Send it to your parents. Send it to your aunt and uncle. And we'll see you guys in 2024, which is this year. We're here already. And guess how old Jacob is? Oh, please don't. I'm an old man. We are old men. We weren't yeah. old when we started. No, we weren't. Here's a picture of us. Clean shaven. Yeah. Mercedes wouldn't even give us cars at that point. No. We still have the whole world ahead of us. Yeah, they still <laughs>